Lovely night pictures then around Guangzhou. And as you see, panning down on the Tiana Stadium here, the fun zone just beneath that graphic on the screen. The bottom of your picture there, and uh, there's the hexagonal looking Tiana Gymnasium. It's a stunning venue, 10,000 seater. This is what we've brought you so far, women's doubles, Lee and Shin. Group winners in their group with three wins. Pasalavi Sindhu salvaging something, defending champion out. She won't be advancing to the semi-finals, but she comes in third in the group. Seo and Chai likewise in their group as well. And Anna's Antonsen, has he done enough? Well, he's got the same number of wins and games as uh, Wang Suwei, so that'll come to points difference to find out which of those two goes through. We'll turn our attention next up to Gideon and Sukumulio. Sukumulio in men's doubles to round out our group stage action on day three. World number one's taking on the world number fours, familiar foes in Kimura and Sonoda. The world number ones, I must tell you, have won the last six of the last seven matches. There they are, nicely warming up. Kevin Sanjaya Sukumulio looking very relaxed as always. Well, there were many permutations coming in, but they've been slightly minimized because Lee and Liu lost to Endo and Watanabe, who now win the group with three wins, as you can see. So they go through as group leaders. If Gideon and Sukumulio win, then they will have two wins and they will also go through. Should they lose, then it gets uh, a little bit more complicated. I'll need to examine the possibility. Let me get my head around that. But if Kimura and Sonoda win, then three teams are tied on one win, and it'll be determined on, determined on game count back. Let's talk about that later anyway. But there's the uh, profile of who we'll be watching. Gideon and Sukumulio, world number ones against the world number fours from Japan. Here they are to a generous hand, as always. Never a dull moment when they take to center stage. Such a treat to watch them. Their destiny is in their hands. The defending champions are out if the Indonesians can win tonight. If the Japanese win, then you've got three teams tied on one win, and it'll be determined on game count back at the end of play. So still so much up for grabs here. These two lost in three close games to Lee and Liu. Two games to Endo and Watanabe. Sonoda wants the far side. It's been another terrific year for these two, hasn't it? Marcus Fernaldi Gideon in your picture, 28 years of age. Played 65 matches this year, 157, only lost eight matches all year. Well, number ones, they've been dominant this year Hello. around. Winning 12 of 25 World Tour titles. There's his partner, the flamboyant 24-year-old. He's always fun of trickery and uh, magic when he takes to the court never a dull moment everybody loves watching him play he's cheeky isn't he another extraordinary year of results for them and uh, well this is what's happened to them so far they lost to the japanese last night an hour and five minutes it was the conditions were slow favoring the japanese but they did beat lee and liu for their solitary group win These two, as we take a look at Ready Takashi play. Kimura, 29 years old, ranked four, they have been as high as two in the world. That was in July of this year and also back in March 2017. 
played 72 badminton matches together this year. These two, 153, lost 19. They won the Singapore Open. Five times runner-up as well on tour. Five semi-finals. But that all goes out the window because this is what's important. Yet to get a win. Extended the defending champions the distance but were still denied. Both uh, losses coming just inside an hour. Can they make something happen tonight? It's a tough ask. They do struggle against the might of the world number ones, obviously. They trail 10-5 head-to-head, Kimura and Sonoda, in this matchup. As we say hello to uh, Hu Long Hu of China and Lawrence Bester, the service judge from South Africa. Well, we're pretty much ready for the fireworks to start. If these guys win, they go through. If not, then it gets more complicated. Let's see what unfolds. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Takashi Kambura, Kenko Sonata, Japan. And on my left, Karin Sajaya Sukamoju and Marcos Frandi Gideon, Indonesia. Marcus Frandi Gideon served to Takashi Kambura, level play. That is over one love. Well, these two from Indonesia, the world number ones, have won the last three consecutive matches, including the Babington Asian Championships back in April. In May, they won the Soviet Cup encounter against these two. And also the Fuzhou China Open as well. They're on the board, finally. fun of games all the fun of the fair has started already in this men's doubles it is exciting from the off and the stone-faced Sukamulio saving one of the most miraculous saves early on in the 86 shot rally he is quick Six out of the last seven clashes, the Indonesians, in this matchup. Ten out of the last 15. It's a rivalry that stands all the way back to January 2016, when they first met at the Malaysia Masters. Lucky break off the top of the net.
No, oh, it's landed out. Or has it? Sukumulia so wants to go upstairs, have it checked. Both teams ultra solid in defense. Just saying, come on then, what have you got? Yeah, it is long. Great call, Lions Judge. Another long rally, 86 shot rally, that one. Service over. Five. Well, we've only been out here for five minutes and already it is so enticing. Five. The longest rally of the match was 86 shots, beg your pardon, that was 63 shots. I stand corrected. Not for the first time. This minute. Well done. Slams that down. To bring parity to the scoreboard. Seven, five. Oh. Yeah. 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 Service oh. over. Six, seven. Lucky break off the top of the net, and he kind of really deserved that, didn't he? Having invested so much Keigo Sonoda there, going lights out at multiple smashes. <laughs> Changing the directions. Another long rally. Oh, yes, a little extra juice on that final smash from Marcus Finaldi Gideon. He's pleased with himself, salutes his fans. 
And there's a nonchalance, isn't there, in defence, almost as if to say, come on, then, what have you got? Let's see it. Can you heat it up anymore? Because I can. And there was a fine example of that. Rifled through that final smash. Nice and loose-wristed. Oh, well done. Kamura was lightning fast there. Wonderful. Gideon after it, but a little bit shy. That's gone. Ten, eight. Oh, yes, again. He's just got that extra chilli on everything, hasn't he? At will. Can you sense in the overall context of their career encounters that that smash right there has had great significance in their 10-5 lead overall head-to-head? -head. Well, just four shots shy of the longest rally of the match at 86, that one. Just got that little bit more, haven't they? The Indonesians. Not much. Eleven ten to the interval, the world number ones with a slender lead. 
They'll be happy. They've just won three points in a row. Yeah, okay. Kalau Kevin ditarik di belakang, diatur kayak tadi, di cepik. Tapi kadang-kadang dilihat suka-suka maju, panjangin dikit. Kamu jangan kalau lagi ngecepet, jangan maju dulu, dia manjang terus, Vin. Kamu nunggu aja, biarin nunggu. Ya, oke. Okay. Nyo, gitu terus, defend, defend, defend. Terus ada, ada kesempatan serang balik, serang balik. Tapi nggak usah buru-buru. Suruh tarik, tarik dia ke belakang dulu, habis tenaganya ke down, baru makan. Oke, okay. ya. Yeah. Tembaki dia ke tengah. Oke, okay, come on, Nyo. 20 seconds. Oke, come on, Nyo. Harry Pangadi has been on to advise his team. 11, 10. But there's no two ways about it. It's just going to be a hard grind tonight in these slow conditions. Temperatures diving a little bit here in Guangzhou. So it's over 11. Oh. It's become a very physical contest. Look at the sweat on the arms of the Japanese. Oh, what defense. Sukumulia with otherworldly powers on a badminton 11. court. Never fails to delight. Not if you're playing against him, though. Can't discount Marcus Finaldi Gideon from that category either, given what we've just seen. <laughs> Evasive action and Sukumulio quick to take advantage. Look at this. Just keeps getting better. This match just keeps on giving. And we're only in the first game. Tell you what, here's a question. So how long will it take these guys to decompress and actually get off to sleep tonight after the match? An hour or two, you'd imagine? Press commitments and what have you. Shower, warm down a little bit, you know. This is tough. Playing at such high intensity. It's be so tough to wind down. That is over 14. Oh. <laughs> Do behave. I mean, there's getting the shuttle back, but with interest like that, come on. made that as well. Almost parallel with the net. <laughs> Japanese have to weather the storm. There's no two ways about it. Indonesians are on fire right now with all of the answers. Five points in a row for the men in blue. That's gone as well. 
This over 13, 19. Well, it's worth watching both teams kind of independently when we're mid-rally because the Japanese investing so much with the footwork speed. But there's a sort of nonchalance and an ease between the Indonesians. Look at this. It's graceful. It's kind of effortless. And Well, they're still utterly focused. Of course they are, but just play their trade with just that little bit more efficiency. Seven game points to the world number ones. So over. Error from 14. MFG. Fifteen. Twenty. Oh, it's gone. Just long. Sonoda barely blinked. Got lucky. Sixteen, twenty. Three game points have been saved by these two warriors from Japan. But that's game. gone long, and in the end, that sense of inevitability concluded Sandy, the way of the Alex world number ones. Twenty-one, sixteen. They secure 21. the opening game after. 16. 21 minutes played. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Well, they would have the uh, slight wind assist now. These two. Second game. Add a little bit more potency into their attacks, hopefully. Play. Oh. To ask more of the world number ones. Oh. 
So it's over one well, lock. Takashi Kimura is suggesting that that one actually bounced on the floor. <laughs> Pointing his racket to it. You can see he's just kind of stopped there. That's gone. Good discipline Here from the Japanese. Love. Just eight shots shy of the record longest rally length of 86. That was 78 shot rally. Well, these teams have the utmost respect for each other, and they're of always uh, offering a hand of apology, though sometimes the best ploy is to go for the body liner. That was a fine example of that. <laughs> He's so Service cheeky. Three, one. Couldn't quite see it from that angle. Nice try. Certainly takes some beating in the flat hide hard drive department, both these teams. Well, you almost get a sort of sense of them sa sauntering around like they would do if they were gambling around a supermarket or walking the high street, the team in blue. And then suddenly they just ignite and explode into life with something furious. And there's a couple of uh, examples for you right there. Joyous to watch. Just slip into another gear. As did... Takashi Kimura there, very nicely done, keeping his team in front in game two. Well, irrespective of what happens here, Marcus Fernald de Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumulu have now qualified, having won that opening game. 
because even if they lost the match, if it came back down to game count back, they have four. And uh, the Japanese would have three. So they go through anyhow, the Indonesian world number ones, to tomorrow's semi-finals. That'll all be drawn after this match. Just uh, keeping you abreast of developments. Oh, that's gone long, and I should add to that clause that as well that they go through with Endo and Watanabe, who topped the group with three wins from three matches, playing some scintillating badminton, the Japanese. Just at the loss of one game as well. That was to the world number ones. Service over seven, six. Nicely done, even with the broken string. It's over seven all. Seen a lot of uh, strings obliterated today. Oh, well done. Really well played. Found the Eight, hole on the court, seven. did Takeshi Kimura there. Very oh. visually aware. So he oh. is loaded with pace, isn't he, Gideon? Broad-shouldered, oh. stocky. Thick-limbed. Well done. Kiko Tsunoda there. Nine, eight. Keeping his foot to the floor. And in the end, ultimately, rushing. Sukumulio into oh. error here. Service over. Nine. Oh. Here we are, we're into sauntering mode for a while. <laughs> Good leave. Backing himself with that decision. kind of get the sense that the Indonesians have to guard against complacency. 
particularly this man, who looks like he's just wandering around as the shuttle's in the air. But he's incredibly efficient. Ah! <laughs> he's making me eat my words, isn't he? Just when you think he's got a semi fall into sleep, you see something like that. The gift from God, isn't it? The way that he sees the shuttle so, so early. And again, resemblant of the opening game, an exact mirror on the scoreline 11 10. They head to the turn one point ahead, the world number ones in game two. Eleven ten. Play. Service oh. so over. Eleven. Oh. 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 Service over. Help. So it's over here. Oh, very nice and disguised. He suddenly just springs to life, doesn't he, with something very special. Oh, nice. Yeah, did so with a broken string as well. Yui had to fully commit. Found a way. Good decision making from Marcus Finaldi. Perhaps just put 15. off Wasunoda there by the fact that he 14. had Sukumulio running at him, taking a big risk. But with his hand-eye coordination, he can seemingly do things that mere mortals can't. Ghostly speed.
They always miss that one, though. Now, I'm sure the world number ones will realise the dynamic of the group that they're in and know that the game won will have enabled them to qualify. And in doing so now, you'd imagine that it's all about putting this to bed in straight games so that they can conserve energy for the semi-final that lies in wait tomorrow after the draw is done after this match. They don't want to be detained by these two for too long, you'd imagine. <gasps> Are they good enough to, to do that? Let's find out. Magic again. <laughs> well, 16, kind of get used to it, but it's blissful watching it, isn't it? really really hard to mimic what they did on the 13th of April at the Singapore Open these two and have a win in three against the world number ones oh! Oh! 17, 16. Good leave from Gideon. Service over 17. Oh. in hands down from both lines judges in the corner back-to-back -back points then for the world number ones just to regain the ascendancy it's such a tight game
first rally of the match, and arguably the best of the tournament so far. What quality here on show court two on day three. Longest rally by a long way, 139 shots of absolutely spellbinding, mesmerizing badminton all round. Fellas, take a bow. At times, it resembled a coaching clinic. And then suddenly, these big surges of energy and power and athleticism. That rally had it all. 1917. Oh, <laughs> we knew it would be firework light. But four magical points consecutively for the world number ones bring up three match points. A terrific performance from the world number ones. They gain an 11th win over their familiar foes in Kimura and Sonoda. Tonight belongs to Gideon and Sukumulio, and with that win, they qualify in second place from men's doubles Match group A. My Marcus Brandy, Gideon, and Kevin, Sanjaya, Some terrific badminton we were treated to we knew we would be it was always going to happen but five consecutive points to put the match to bed from the world number ones who have just been masterful this year we'll see more of them they will go on and uh, extend their stay to the weekend confirmation of the scoreline 21 16 21 17 they come through alongside the other japanese pair in men's doubles group a as well Endo and Watanabe. So they will be relieved to come through in straight games and save some energy for tomorrow's semi finals. As we say goodbye to Tsunoda and Komura, they'll head back to Japan, no doubt. But the Indonesians progress. There's confirmation of what we've seen today. Women's doubles Lee and Shin safely through in winning their group. Pusala v Sindhu, she came third in her group, downing Ber, um, Herbing Zhao. And Seo and Chai as well, coming third in their mixed doubles group with a win over the Malaysians, Chan and Go. And as Antonsen as well, he's in the running. And uh, may well be playing the semi finals. That's going to come back to points difference. That's how close their group was as he downed Wang Tsu Wei. Gideon the Sukumulio as well, confirmation of that last result that we brought you. So it was a long evening's entertainment and uh, terrific watch. Let's update you with the 
results then in terms of group stages. Endo and Watanabe go through in one with three wins. And Gideon Sakamulio as well also through. Lee and Wang Chi Lin, Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin, they won Group B, won all of their matches. Great work from the Chinese Taipei athletes and Asan and Setiawan as well going through in Group B in men's doubles. What of men's singles next up? Kento Momota coming through, faultless, all three wins, top of the group. And uh, Wang Suwei as uh, number two coming through. Group B, well, Anthony Sinasuka Ginting and Chen Long progress in that group. Cho denied in women's singles. Chen Yufei was playing some terrific badminton. She was faultless as well, all three wins for her. And uh, joined by Akana Yamaguchi had uh, two wins to her name as well. Nozomi Okahara safely through, maxing out on Group B. And Tai Tzu Ying joining her with two wins herself as well. On to women's doubles next. Fukushima and Hirota safely through, owning Group B. A in women's doubles, Chen Ching Chen and Xie Yifan as well join them into the semi finals there, along with Li Sohi and Xin Xiong Chan, who won, they topped Group B in women's doubles. And uh, Matsumoto and Nagahara join them as well. So, mixed doubles next. Wang Yi Liu. They won with three wins in mixed doubles group A. And uh, Dechipol Pravanukro and Simsali Teletanachai as well come through that group in second position. And uh, well, lastly, as well, Watanabe and Higashino won group B in the mixed doubles. And uh, second through there was Zheng Siwei and Huang Ya Chong. So they'll be pleased having had a bit of a slow start themselves. Well, that concludes all of our action and our group results from day three at the Tiana Gymnasium. We'll, uh, do join us to tomorrow, 11 a.m. local time, for more live semi-final action. For now, it's goodbye from myself, Paul Hand, and the team behind me. Thanks for your company. Bye for now.